Hello, my name's Emily and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the step up from A-level and B-tech to a university degree. Uh, one of the things I noticed uh, when I started at St Mary's was the class sizes. So your lectures will sometimes consist of maybe 100 people being present. Depending on what course you're doing, there might be slightly more or slightly less um, in a lecture hall. However, this might be very different to what you've experienced at Sixth Form or College, where sometimes in a small Sixth Form, there might only be 10 people in your class. Um, and some of you might have experienced just 30 people in your class. So it can be a big change coming into a lecture hall where there are 100 people. And this also means there's a slight change in how uh, your learning might work. It's up to you in those lectures to take your own notes, listen to the lecturer, listen to the information and tune into the bits that you think are going to help you write your essays and also further your learning um, while you're at university. So rather than being directed to do certain tasks during a lecture, it will be up to you and your own individual note taking um, so that you can make sure you get all the information you need out of the lecture. One of the other things I noticed um, was the academic writing style is slightly different. So a lot of you will be writing essays um, at the moment or have done for the past maybe two years during your BTEC and A-level. And going to university, there's definitely more of a focus on you developing your own academic and unique writing style. Um, this can sometimes be a bit scary to begin with and your first essay might have a few little tweaks that you need to do to make it um, a bit better and the lecturers are really good at giving you that help on that first essay. They really give you detailed notes on what areas you need to improve on and as the years go on um, their notes become more snappy and more quick and you start to understand what bits that you need to improve on. Um, but also, if you are struggling with your academic writing, one of the fantastic things about St Mary's is that they offer academic writing sessions throughout the year. I attended some of these um, this year to try and help me boost um, my academic style and my writing. And uh, it really helped me, it really helped me improve the structure of my essays and also the different types of sources and the different types of information I was using in my essays to back up my academic points. So that really helped me. And one of the other things as well that might be a di bit different from your sixth form or your college is that instead of having a form tutor, you have a personal tutor. Um, they check up on you and you have a meeting with them about three times a year and they just ask you how things are going. Um, they can help you with any pastoral issues as well as academic issues as well. And they can give you advice on how to improve in certain areas of your learning too. However, you don't just get to see them three times a year. If you need that little bit extra help, or you need to see them a bit more, or you need to discuss a certain essay or a certain issue, um, you can book an appointment with them anytime. And usually at St Mary's, the personal tutors are great at saying, look, I'm in my office from this time to this time, just pop by and we can have a chat about it. Or if you want to make a more formal meeting to discuss something, you can just send an email and usually the tutors are very good at replying within a day. Um, so even though there are some definite changes from moving from A-level and sixth form college to university and becoming a more independent learner, um, St Mary's offers a really vast range of different things to help support you in your academic writing and your academic life as well as your pastoral life with your personal tutor as well.